Hey folks. Uh, hi YouTube. Uh, today is my one month uh, post-op and so I'm doing an update. <laughs> um, I, was ac I actually thought I was supposed to work today. I got my return to work um, note from Bridget at Dr. Garamoni's office. If you don't uh, know her and if you're planning on going to Garamoni, she is the one that's going to make everything possible. She's absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, so I got my return to work notice yesterday, uh, and I I picked up a shift for my friend, and he said it was on Thursday, so I thought he meant today. Uh, he really meant next week. So I went to work, and I was like, hey, I'm here, and then they were like, you don't work today. <laughs> uh, so I just came back and decided to do this video. Uh, today is International Women's Day, uh, so I'm wearing this shirt. I am not straight edge, uh, but the back of the shirt has one of my favorite paintings on it. Uh, it's Judith Slang Holofernet by Caravaggio, and I wish that the people who made this shirt uh, had put uh, Caravaggio's students' version on it, uh, seeing as it's, you know, a painting based on a biblical story about, you know, Judith kicking ass and taking names, um, and Caravaggio's student, Jedaleski, is actually a woman, and so... <laughs> Um, her version is much more telling, much more emotional, and my, my preferred, uh, version of the painting, um, and it's interesting because at the time, women weren't allowed to have models, and so she uses, uh, herself as the model, um, for the women that she paints, and so she's, you know, chubby and not ideal beauty, and, uh, I, I love her paintings. Anyway. Um, so, um, today is my third day, I think, of not having, um, I don't have to wear bandages anymore because I ran out of that, uh, that yellow stuff, that yellow paper stuff with the ointment on it that you put on your nipples that Garamoni gives you. I don't remember what it's called. Um, and Bridget recommended that I put on band-aids over my nipples to keep them from rubbing on my shirt, but there's something about the skin on my chest that band-aids just don't like to stick to it, uh, <laughs> and so I just haven't been wearing band-aids. Um, but uh, I'll show them to you, so, um, my, you know, my nipples, not, not my band-aids, although I do have Angry Birds band-aids, and they're pretty adorable. <laughs> but anyway, um, so if you don't want to see nipples, uh, I'm gonna put a link to where you can either skip ahead or uh, if there is no link it's because I talked about it for the rest of the time uh, <laughs> or showed them for the rest of the time and so now would be the time to stop watching um, okay so this is how my chest looks so far almost all of the scabbing is gone but the sutures haven't completely fallen off yet although a lot of them have I only have two left on the left nipple and I only have Actually, I have more left on the right one, too. And I have five left on the right nipple. Actually, one of them looks like it's going to fall off any day now. Um, so, yeah, this is what my right nipple looks like up close. Uh, like I said, almost all the scabbing is gone. Uh, and it's pink, and you can tell that it's finally attaching to the skin. Uh, before, it kind of looked like it was, like, inlaid, but there was no... You could see the separation between the skin around the nipple and the actual nipple. I still have like some acne on my chest because I can't really wash it. <laughs> um, I can't like wash it that well at least. This is what my n left nipple looks like. Uh, there's still some scabbing as you can see. Um, the area around the nipple that attaches to the areola looks like it was having a tough time um, attaching it almost looks like the way that the whole nipple looked like before, that um, we're just like sitting in the middle but not necessarily attaching to it. Um, in terms of feeling, they feel pretty good. My right nipple still deals with more pain than my left nipple does. Um, I can lift my arms all the way, although it feels like there's some tugging around here when I do so, or I guess there's some tugging like over here when I lift and then on my right some tugging around here 
Um, and it's kind of sore, like, right here when I do that. <laughs> uh, it's not bad, though. I still haven't put on Scar Guard, scar guard today. Um, it peels off just like that. I don't know if you can tell, but it comes off really easily. If it doesn't come off, you just put on another layer. Don't worry about trying to take it off. In fact, the instructions say not to. Um, okay, so I've gotten a lot of feedback about my scars. Um, and they say that they get more red as they heal. Uh, and so the nice thing is that before, my scars kind of like, how do I describe this? kind of looks like that, I guess, whereas the middle of the scar was more um, inward and more concave, whereas the outside of the incisions were more convex and popped out more. And it looks like they're starting to even out a bit. Um, I don't know if you can tell. So that's the scar. Um, and that, the, uh, where it closed up is still a little bit more intense, where the drains were coming out of. The right one is definitely healing faster than the left. Um, I still have this bump thing in the middle that I was telling you all about, this extra skin. I'm not really sure what that's about. That's what it looks like from the side. Um, when I flex my pecs, which I'm not, <laughs> I'm not very good at that. I have like zero experience in that, but um, I'm trying. Okay, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. But when I when I do it. Um, my nipples feel kind of tingly, so I'm just kind of avoiding that right now. Um, I can't lift anything more than 20 pounds at this point, uh, which isn't too bad. I still can't exercise to my full capacity yet, although um, as of last week, I was able to get my heart rate up, which means that I can have sex and I can masturbate. <laughs> and I am not complaining about that. <laughs> um, my renal system and my bowels are finally back on track which is nice. I don't have to struggle for like five minutes to pee anymore. Uh, although that went away, I want to say maybe like a week and a half ago, and I think I maybe forgot to update that. Um, so that's good. Uh, so it's weird having pink nipples. <laughs> My nipples are brown, like I told you. Um, so it's going to be interesting as they regain color, which I would imagine takes longer than the scabs falling off. The scabs aren't completely off yet, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, I'm really excited to go swimming. Uh, something else that I've noticed is that, like, I just kind of forgot that my butt existed, and I was kind of sad, because I thought that, like, testosterone had completely taken away my butt. And I'm Latino, okay? We're kind of, like, notorious for our butts in, like, a super fetishistic or fetishizing racist way, um, but I also liked having a butt. Uh, <laughs> so now that I'm not binding anymore, because when I would bind, my binder would go all the way down to the middle of my thighs, like halfway down. Um, and now that I don't have to bind anymore, like it would also bind down my butt. <laughs> and so now that I don't have to bind anymore, I'm noticing like how my butt looks in like all of my pants, and I'm just like, damn! <laughs> I look good. <laughs> um, and so, yeah. Um, I cut my own hair. Uh, I'm sure that you've probably noticed by now. But, um, so yeah, I cut my own hair for the first time. And I've noticed that since I cut my own hair and since I'm not binding anymore, um, people say that I look older. And I don't know what that's about. Um, I don't know why that is. I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, my posture's got a lot better because I'm not worried about hiding anything. Uh, I'm not afraid to sit up. I'm not afraid to sit because uh, nothing shifts anymore, and so that's really cool. Uh, I do notice that I feel a little dysphoric about love handles. Um, so that's interesting and awkward, and but it doesn't. I feel pretty good when I'm wearing clothes. Uh, and I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. Um, but yeah, things are healing pretty well. Um, I've cut back on taking Arnica and Bromelain just because, not because I don't want to, but because I keep forgetting because I'm supposed to take them on an empty stomach. And every time I remember that I have them, <laughs> I have either just eaten or I'm, I'm like really hungry and I'm about to eat. Um, 
So, yeah. Uh, I hope you all are doing well. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask or to share. And as always, I will talk to you all soon. Okay, bye.